Okay, so right here, what's going on is imagine a 4th of July and there's a, uh, an American flag hanging on the uh, fireplace. And it's sort of like a slow panoramic, sort of like a slow zoom and we start to see that it's like a 4th of July party. And people are chatting and chilling and it's all good, you know, just having a fun little get together at the house. And it's people all, you know, in the corner and people around the flag. Maybe we see some people sitting out on the porch chilling. Um, we see people just standing around having a good time in this kind of space. I'm thinking some somewhere around like 30, 35, 30 to 40 people so that it looks packed. Um, maybe even be with 20 people. And then we sort of walk over and we, we see our main woman, Samantha. And Samantha is here, uh, standing there, and we're seeing over her shoulder, and she looks down at her, her glass and sees that she's out of wine, and the person that she's talking to is out of wine. So we cut over to her looking at the wine and see that we're low on wine, so she needs to go into the basement to get more wine. She turns on the light and starts to make her into the basement. And we get sort of like a cool, interesting pan across the room just to see the space you know just to kind of see get a gauge of the space and she comes down fully because she stopped to look down the stairs and we watch her walk from these different angles uh, probably not nearly as many angles but then we see her walk over to the cellar door and then we see her standing in the doorway and then she goes in neck hard cut to her flicking the light on and then she begins to make her way over to where the wine is and we see her checking out the wine here and we would see her checking out wine still in this interesting sort of look um, and then we see her uh, notice some noises happening above her and we see the floorboards and we just hear foot sort of footsteps going on and we see her uh, still getting over the, the sounds and we see something behind her um, so we do like a slow pan um, over until we see a hand reaching over to the uh, to turn the light off the light goes off she immediately goes over the cell phone and, and then you know she's shaking and so the cell phone light is in the darkness and and she slowly is making her way over to the light switch and, you know, whispering, hello, hello. She finally makes it over and turns on the light. Now, I thought something that would be interesting is if there was a, uh, a, a mannequin or something there in that space. And then... Then she turns it off the light and starts to get the heck up out of there. We see her coming toward the camera and she gets extremely close. And then right before she's right before she gets there, she stops. That works. So she sees silhouette. Boom. <laughs> Larry off to the right. And she sees something just duck behind the uh just duck behind the sofa there. Right, and that's when we hear the ch -ch -ch. So we get a and the light is off. At this point, she is terrified. We get a close-up of her eyes, um, and she's sort of shifting back and forth and what she needs to be looking at, and oh, she thinks she hears like some muttering over here, but she can't stop looking away from here. And so she's, she's frozen. She begins to actually move. She begins to make her way up the steps. Do, 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 right? And for some reason, she stops. We get a quick shot. Now after she stops, we get a over the shoulder shot of her looking up and we see a hand closing the door. So we see a man standing there uh, with no shirt on, raggedy, raggedy clothes, a black man with uh, no shirt on and his, uh, and his back is covered in scars. And as he does, and we see his hand and he turns it off. So she pulls up her cell phone light and she's shining it up there and no one's there. So she flashes her light and she's here, here, here. Looks all around and then that's when he gets her. And then it's a black screen. We hear her screaming 
And then we, uh, we, we, I don't know that I want all those hard cuts in that space, but the idea is that um, we cut back to the party and they haven't even thought anything of her. In fact, the only reason they think anything of her is because they're low on wine. <laughs> so then we see them opening the door and turn on the light and we see Samantha down at the bottom of the steps and she is in terror. Um, and she can't move and so you know they're asking what's wrong what's wrong Samantha what's wrong and um, and we just we get a close-up of Samantha's eyes and uh, and just the fear and terror in them and then we cut to black and those are the credits and uh, and that would be that would be it that would be that would be uh, essentially the entire thing um, I think it'd be pretty cool to do and I think it'd be practical it's easy it's really easy i think um if we uh if we if we get things if i if i'm able to get things together the way that i think i need them um and it would be it would be a small small little quick project done in a done in a day less than probably in a in a few hours within three three four hours i'm thinking um it would be done and then we could get all our coverage shots um, and, and it would, and it would be a lot of fun because afterwards I would plan on actually having like a, a small party happen, you know, where people are just chilling and watching TV or whatever. Um, but I, I, I really want to get this project done because I've, uh, it's been on my mind and I feel like it's a, it's kind of a cool thing to, um, especially with all the black stuff happening this month. Um, and I think it'd be cool to be able to be a part of that black stuff going on anyway. That's that's what I had in mind.